25 years ago, when I began practicing traditional labor law, all of my labor law colleagues were men. Whether I was at a union election, in an NLRB hearing, at the bargaining table, or even in an arbitration, I was often the only woman at the table, aside from the occasional court reporter. And for many years, I practiced labor law like I thought a man would. I spoke louder and often more than I needed to. I ate steak and drank whiskey after long bargaining sessions. I had been dressed in an assortment of ill-fitting pleated khakis and golf shirts after one client complained because of a pink sweater I wore. But somewhere along the line, I learned that being myself, a female labor lawyer, was an asset, not a detriment. I began listening more than talking. I dropped the aggressive posture. I learned to strike a deal where men had trouble getting employees or the union to come to the table. Today, I have the privilege of mentoring many young women at Lumber who are fully aware that diversity is a strength in our labor law practice. 